Aaron Leslie and Archie. I'm a nafty studying film directing. For the love for drawing and painting, you know, constructing all that I wanted to do architecture, then during my free time I maybe draw and paint and then sell them, something like that. Ah! At this age it's normal! Oh wisdom, is that what you're telling me? Ah, is this girlfriend coming to spend the night here? It's not the end of the world. Acting hasn't really been something I wanted to do growing up, but you know, it came along the line and I saw it as an opportunity, so I took it and so far it has been good by God's grace. Should I say it's a change of destiny? I, I did a couple of films from 2009 to 2014. That was where the paplasticity comes in, you know, the good old days and uh, Kwanza. We shot the good old days as the main title. That was the love of AA, Papa La CC, Goodbye School, Suffering to Lose. And then we shot the fourth movie, Praising the Lord Plus One. So I did all those movies before YOLO. One cast member in that movie, she's also in YOLO, she's playing Araba. She was aware of the YOLO auditions and told me that we should come and check it out and see what's going to happen. So we came and then we took part in the YOLO auditions and God being so good, we landed the roles. So this is why you left my door unlocked. Are you mad? Uh, you know, acting with Pusha and Jackie up here, you know, for the first time we were all tensed up. I was nervous because you're going to act with the people who made, I mean, series in Ghana hit and all that. So I was tensed up at the beginning, but along the line, you know, the kind of hospitality, the kind of welcoming, the kind of way they lived toward us, they made us feel so at home, so we were cool, I mean. My future aspirations, let me say, I believe God is going to direct me on whatever I should do. If it's supposed to be more movies, fine. More commercials, more TV, radio. I'm just hoping for the best. I want to be able to impact society. Look at this fine girl. So what do you mean? She doesn't want to have sex with me or what? Don't you have sex with Emily? No. We're both abstaining. Like seriously, like you don't get to touch her and all. Never. Listen, I don't know why you guys are thinking this way. I believe abstinence is the best. It's basically the message you are spreading in your that adolescent's reproductive health. One should be able to take good care of it or herself. I mean, watch the program, it's very educative. Forget about, you know, the bad boy moves and all that. Learn a lot from it. Use the right methods. If you can't abstain, go to the health wellness, get the right contraception, and one, you're gonna come out, I mean, free, safe from all STIs and all that. Where's my friend? You only live once, baby. You can chill through your